What's up guys? Me again, Jeffrel for Art Panda TV. Hello, Panda Nation. And for today's video, we'll be unboxing this iPhone 12 Pro Max. So stay tuned. What's up guys? So as what I said earlier, we'll be unboxing iPhone 12 Pro Max. And um, remember last time I unboxed the iPhone 11 Pro Max for myself, but this time this is actually for my cousin. So um, we'll see the difference as well of my old phone and this phone. And yeah, guys, so na patumpik tumpik pa. Let's unbox this phone. So now we have already removed the plastic and let's just compare um, this to my iPhone 11 Pro Max especially with the box so tina natin okay as you notice guys um sobrang laki ng difference because the iPhone 11 has a um, block or a charging block while the iPhone 12 doesn't have a charging block so ang kasama lang niya is yung USB or yung charger which is lightning to USB-C. Ayan. Isa para sa reasons why mas malaki yung box ng iPhone 11 ay walang headphones or earphones ang iPhone 12. It's just a phone the um, and the charger and some leaflets. Yun lang. Let's open the box. Wow. So as soon as you open the box, you'll see the phone right away. Ayan. Um, ayan. So compared to um, iPhone 11, cornered yung kanyang sides. Ayan. So I'll do some comparison later on. And then, meron siya cover. I'm not sure if I can remember if plastic ba yung last time or iPhone 11. This I missed like a um, sticker. Then you have here some paperwork. Um, you have the pin. And then of course, you have that sticker. The Apple sticker. Okay. Put it back. And now we have here the charger. So if you notice guys, yung dulo niya hindi siya yung um, regular USB. But it's USB-C. So you have to look for a block or a charging block for um, this USB. Ayan. So we'll put it back. And by the way guys, um, what I recommend, if you have, um, or if you'll be purchasing a brand new phone, always get um, the shield or protector right away. So if you have, if you want to have a glass protector or a matte protector, so as soon as you remove the sticker, you put it right away. Because the tendency is, if you will um, wait for a few days, it may be scratched. So the tendency is if you'll be waiting for a few days, it will be um, scratched and dusted. Though, um, matibay naman ang glass ng iPhone 12. So, let's put now the protective um, shield. Thank you. 
All right, so we have already put the protective um, glass. And I'll be um, just putting the username and password for iTunes and then put some songs. And I'll be back in a few. songs ha nakapaglagin ako for my cousin mga heels ang daw gusto niya Ayan. look on the difference of these two um, ito yung iPhone 11 Pro Max ko and then ito yung um, iPhone 12 Pro Max so if you notice guys may slight difference sila sa size and um, yung camera yung bilog yung tatlong circles I think this one is bigger. And then of course, yung sensor nila for this one. And yung color, um, darker tone. And ito is slightly more matte. So, check natin yung sides. Ayan. Like what I'm saying, ito ay uh, with curvy corners compared to um, iPhone 12 Pro Max na cornered Yan. So if you'll take a look, mayroon slight difference na ilang um, CM. Yan. Check the volume ng speaker ng or comparison of these two. iPhone 11 Pro Max. iPhone 12 Pro Max. Ayan. So, I'm not really sure but I think the iPhone 12 Pro Max has um, higher volume. I'm not sure but uh, let me know sa comments kung ano yung feel nyo na mas mataas ang, mas malakas ang tunog. Ayan. So, on the side, let's check. Anong difference? Uh... Okay. Yung SIM niya is nasa kaliwa. And then, meron siya dito. Sa akin ay nasa kanan. Ayan. So, um, I'm having more confidence in holding this kasi nga um, may edge or edgy siya. And then, um, more confidence din kasi nga ito nga curvy siya there's a tendency if you're not having um, a housing or a case there's a tendency na mabitawan mo siya <laughs> or mafall siya from your hands now let's go with the changes or the functionality of the phone and what's new with iPhone 12 Pro Max so it actually has the A14 bionic chip sabi din is it's 50% faster than other smartphones. So imagine um, how faster or how you can navigate and be more productive with this new phone since it has a better microchip and a bionic chip and um, especially if you're multitasking you can also do that or you can maximize this phone. When it comes to the display, uh, there is no change at all. It's going to be similar display is the XDR Super Retina display. And there is assurance of uh, better, uh, bet and then there is assurance of better glass since they say it's a ceramic shield, tougher than any smartphone glass. So, um, kung mahulog mo siya, um, hindi siya agad nagad mapasag. But definitely, since we're Pinoy's, we like to put um, glass um, protectors and better housing. Actually, ako 
Mas gusto ko rin na naka phone case. But there are times that I like to use my phone bare or um, yung wala siyang case kasi mas manipis. But um, if you're looking into protection, definitely you have to get a, a case for your phone. Especially since this is cornered. As for me, if it falls or uh, if mabitan mo siya, there's a higher tendency na magkaroon siya ng deck. Ayan, so if you'll be asking me if it's a go or no for upgrade to iPhone 12 Pro Max, definitely it's a yes for me as the functionality goes and how uh, you can hold it on your hand, uh, feeling that it's more secured, then definitely if you have a means or if you're if you have extra uh, money for you to buy for an upgrade, then definitely do that. Ako for now, since I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and I have 512 gig, um, I'm not sure yet if I'll be going to upgrade, but I can think of it or I will be able to. Um, Decide since na compare ko naman yung difference, but I wanna have a phone that is um, smaller, so I can uh, I can have my fingers reach some letters sa keyboard. Siempre, um, I wanna use it like just one hand for internet and usage of the phone. Actually, right now I don't have a SIM to put here because this is my cousin's phone, but I have um, researched and looked on to the vlogs of others and a lot of reviews and i can see that it has difference of uh, like miles of difference from the iphone 11 pro max so you'll be able to um, maximize your 5g or your internet if you're into um, browsing or into um, bench watching and so for those who are planning to use their phones as their vlogging video or recording video then definitely you're um you're in the right path because um it actually has um 2.5 um optical zoom in hanggang 2.5 siya na zoom in kasi yung 2 yung 11 pro max hanggang 2 lang 2 times lang yung kanyang pwedeng i-zoom in and then yung iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max, it actually can have um, time 7 digital zoom up. Yung iPhone 11 hangang time 6 lang siya. So, yun, yun difference din niya. And also, yung night mode. Um, There's actually a new feature sa iPhone 12 Pro Max na meron siyang uh, better um, capture of uh, videos and photos during um, darker or night time. Ayan. So, when it comes to uh, resolution, it's just the same. And it's just that for um, iPhone 12 Pro Max, it actually has the HDR video recording with Dolby Vision up to 60 FPS. Ayan. So, sa camera or sa taking photos, um, it's sim pretty similar. Kasi 12 megapixels lang din naman siya. But however, yung nasa zoom, um, 2.5 yung pwede niyang i-zoom in. And yung zoom out is 12 for the photos. Times 12. Pero sa iPhone 11 Pro Max, hanggang 10 times lang pwede mag-zoom up. Ayan. Ayan. And also yung night mode portraits for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. For the power and battery, it's pretty the same. Um, same 20 hour playback for videos. It's just that for iPhone 12 Pro Max, you can actually charge it using the MagSafe. And um, actually, pareho naman silang wireless charging. But yung iPhone 11 Pro Max, hindi siya pareho sa MagSafe. Yun yung bilog na magnetic, which I don't have yet uh, now. So yun, um, you can charge it using that um, device. And for water resistance, you can actually drop it 6 meters under, hanggang 6 meters siya maximum. And yung iPhone 11 kasi hanggang 4 meters. Ayan. So, pero syempre naman, di ba? Hindi ka naman ganun lalalim. But if, just for the sake of those who want to use it under water, you can do that. Just make sure na ahon kayo na in 30 minutes. Kasi hanggang 30 minutes lang yung um, resistance niya na 6 meters. Alright, so another feature added by um, Apple for iPhone 12 Pro Max is LiDAR. That is light and light detection and ranging. So, ano ba yun? Actually, meron na kayo sa Face ID. So, it actually measures your face or me measures any object. 
if you have a measuring um, app. So if you notice, um, somehow accurate, siya, right? So this is actually being used to measure objects before. I don't know in pag nagamit niyan, and good thing it's in the um, in the phone that you're having right now, or in the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Ano bang importance niyan? So, uh, so tong buhay, um, it's like a handy measuring uh, tape on your phone. So, yun yung um, use niya, especially if you wanna uh, measure a TV or a frame, even your height. You can measure your height using LiDAR or using um, your phone because it has LiDAR. And that's it for my video today, guys. I hope you're able to decide if you want to upgrade or if you want to get a new iPhone for yourself. But I hope this one helped you in some way. So I hope you like it. And if you do, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for my future vlogs. I also have art, travel, food, and essential oil videos. So please check my gallery. And wherever you are, please do keep safe. Bye! Ano si Carl na kay Kajun, um, surprise niya yung wife niya sa ano, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Pero kakain muna kami. Ako yung salihan na, black king. Eh, pwede sa ba nagpangopia? <laughs> Ayan, na mga nangopia sa isa. Video pala yan. <laughs> Ano gupit bili kami na ano Max Face pen yung charger. Uwi na kami with the team. So please like, share, 